Oh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, we're in the shop. Got the speed behind me. And as you can tell from the title, this one, we're working on the front bumper. Um, I've had this issue for a while. Well, I wouldn't call it an issue really, but uh, it's kind of annoying. But there's the speed, no front bumper. But I'll show you guys what the issue is I'm talking about. As you can see, I've got the open mouth grill for uh, the second gen Mazda speeds and it's all fastened in. I've had it for going on two seasons now, but as you can see right here, it doesn't fasten up to the bumper properly. Um, it kind of just hangs there and you can see the gap in it. Kind of hard to show you here without it being on the car, but there is a gap right here and uh, it doesn't look very good in like pictures and stuff and whenever you're up close. So I really want to fix that today. Uh, so what you have to do is take off all the plastic under or on the back side of the bumper here and to be able to get to right here, which is where the uh, point is that is separated in the front. So that's what I'm going to do. As you can see, this is the grill from the back, basically just a, uh, a model of that, but instead of all the center crap that's in the middle of this, where the smile is, it's just mesh and it's all just screwed right on to the, uh, the frame of it. So yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to take off all this plastic here, hopefully, to get access to it and uh, we should be smooth sailing from there. So I've already started removing these. Got three left over here. This is what they are here. They're basically just those, not gonna focus. Basically just those crappy little like push pin plastic pieces that tend to hold plastic parts on cars these days, but it's a bunch of those. So what I'm using is the blade of a knife and I'm getting in right below it to pop it that center part and then the whole thing comes out so it's not too bad but uh, I'll show you guys I don't have my tripod so I'll show you guys whenever I get get those all off All right, so this is also a way to uh, get your badge out from behind the bumper. Uh, those two clips you saw me pop here, that takes the grill out from the front, or the, the badge out from the front. And I may also repaint that while it's out. Actually, I might repaint this while it's out because it's got a bunch of rock chips in it, but that's not what we're doing today. Now we have access to this here. Not sure what I'm gonna do, but a screw through it or something. But uh, see if I can show you the front. You can see the gap there. So yeah, that's what we're gonna try to fix. Because the only point that doesn't clip in is right in the middle of this. It clips in here, it clips in here, there, all along the bottom, all around the sides. And then there's no, no clip from here to there, so. Um, we're gonna have to do something right in the middle to get this to hold itself up and not sag down So since there's a gap here whenever you squeeze these two together it closes the gap on the front So what I think I'm gonna do is put two self tappers through here Maybe or two small bolts and nuts uh, to go through the other side I think that should do it because all it really needs to do is clamp these two together uh, the tab from the bumper and the tab from uh, the grill itself. So I think if I squeeze those together and close it, even put some like Gorilla Glue in there or something, it will uh, uh, keep it closed. So that's what I think I'm gonna try to do. A couple self tappers or uh, some small nuts and bolts if I can find any. All right, so here's what I'm gonna use. Got this 10 mil bolt and a nut. 
that I found just in a scrap pile and uh, drilled my hole already right through here as far as I could to the front and uh, so I'm just going to feed this through put the, the nut on and snug it up tight and hopefully that holds it all together. my camera my phone is not gonna focus on that but you can see the nut through or the bolt through the nut is underneath I can't really see it but it is under there so I'm just gonna grab a wrench snug it up and uh, it should do it I think there you go got it to snug up nice and tight with that nut and bolt on the back did it perfectly no gap anymore uh, there's definitely a cleaner way to do this I would say but I really don't care because it's one knot one nut and one bolt right in the back you're never gonna see that so um, whatever does the trick right if you want to do it a cleaner way by all means give her a shot but uh, yeah that solved my issue so I'm gonna throw the plastic wherever I put that this, I'm gonna put that back in. I'm gonna repaint this, but uh, I'll do that another time. I'm gonna throw that back in the back of it and uh, show you guys what it looks like on the car. guys bumper is back on as you saw all fastened up top the quick latches on the side are in and uh, get a close-up of the middle perfect just how I wanted it no gap at all right here nice and tight just how we like it, nice and tight. So yeah guys, hope you enjoyed this video. It's uh, just a quick little video I decided to make because uh, I feel like a bunch of people would have this issue with this, this bumper insert and uh, hopefully it can help a couple people out fix theirs uh, if they have that same issue. But uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Drop a comment. Let me know what I should do next. Drop a like, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.